Wow, that is a noisy hard drive. Let's mod this thing. So this is, sorry for the shadow there, but Xbox memory unit with the end game version of the Rocky V soft mod installer. Here's how to run it. All right, so just push A to continue. When we're done, I'm gonna know the hard drive. I wanted to have one video to show how to deal with an OG Xbox. As soon as you get one, I would do this. You can always take it back to retail if you don't want it modded, but you definitely need, need to know the EEPROM ASAP. You don't want to be in a situation where your hard drive dies and you either haven't nulled or backed up the EEPROM. All right, let's null this thing. We're actually going to do not a null string. We're going to do a string of all ones. So go here. And then here. I forgot to show when you're done with NK Patcher, you'll need to reboot your Xbox to get back to the main dashboard. Um, now, here's how to confirm that your EEPROM was updated. Go here and then go to your file explorer. And one of the things that NK Patcher does is back, backs up the EEPROM stuff after it's done updating it. And it puts the backup here. So go to E, Backups, EEPROM Folder, 
And if you look, you can see that we have set the EEPROM to a string of all ones. Um, and that's what you want. So you don't have to do anything after this. This is just butt coverage. You can also just back up the EEPROM if you want to keep the retail one. I, I don't have any reason to do that, and I don't want to keep track of them. So my personal preference is just to null or all ones. I, sorry, I keep saying null, but we're actually setting it to all ones. Prior to the Insignia Xbox Live replacement service, um, it was common to set this to all zeros. Now with Insignia, the standard is to set it to all ones. But this will save you time. Um, if you install Rocky V on an Xbox, then you're going to have the NK Patcher app. So you can do this, and then you don't have to worry about keeping track of any of this. If your hard drive dies, then you can go ahead and build a new replacement, and you're going to automatically know how to lock it to this string. So there you go.